Hey guys, so we have the October BoxyCharm unboxing and uh... It almost opened when I oh God. I, I put no effort into this at all. This this makeup. It's eyebrows. I went to Target and I got a coffee. So <laughs> I figured we were doing this, so why bother? That was my day. That was my day so far. Alright, first thing is a tube of something. Frank Body? What is Frank Body? Frank Body Glow Mask. This moisturizing face mask is natural and ultra hydrating. It works to reduce puffiness and gives skin extra life, glow, and brightness. It's perfect for pre makeup, late nights, and morning afters. <laughs> it's right. natural, cruelty free, and only takes five minutes to work. I think this is the first face mask we've gotten so far. We should do masks. Like, other than that one Glam Glow one that was like a. You could leave it on like a sleeping pack. I can't get the little plastic thing open. That's a problem for another time, and I dropped the cap. What else did we get? Looks like you got lashes. You and that cap are I just can't with struggling. This cap. All right, lashes. Looks like you got uh, lava lashes. A lightweight and fluffy handcrafted luxury lashes are charm. Our charm style blends seamlessly with your natural lashes and adds the perfect amount of glam to any look. Oh, I'm going to look so good with those things on. I am going to look so good with those. Does it say if they're synthetic or... It does not. Okay. Let me see. I think it says it on the back here. Uh, phase eyelashes. Faux mink eyelashes. So they're synthetic. Okay. And it has like a little adhesive in here take the eyelashes off the of animals to make those yeah that's exactly what they do oh no it's not an adhesive i think it's like an instructional thing so that's kind of a bummer i think you're an instructional thing i can't get it back whatever i'm having a trouble with packaging today this smells weird what is this this is a luxy wonderlust uh, set. Create eye-catching looks with this five-piece rose gold synthetic brush set. The versatile collection includes a tapered shading brush, blending brush, medium angled brush, larger shade shader brush, plus a brow and lash brush. Stash them in your luxy pouch for glam on the go. I don't go anywhere, but this is, I guess, fine to have. I still have that other thing from last week just sitting here. I don't know what to do with it. Start giving them away. Yeah. This one is from Farsale Privé. A serum that helps replenish moisturize with a unique compl uh, complex of low and high molecular weight hy hyaluronic acid. It's a new word I learned. Okay. No phone. How did that activate your I phone? I have no idea. The staggered molecular weights of the hy hyaluronic acid are designed to help promote multiple depth hydration on both the skin surface and in the epidermis, all the way down to the epidermis. Oh, that's enriched the top of your skin. Enriched with <laughs> replenishing <laughs> pro vitamin B5, the skin's elasticity appears improved as well as feeling it looking softer than before. So if I dump that all over my body, do I turn into the guy from Fan Fantastic Four? Yes. Yes, stretch everywhere. So is this something, does it say to put on before makeup or like after makeup when you cleanse and you're about to moisturize and no, go to bed? It, do, it doesn't end. Sick. It doesn't say. We'll find out. All right. This is called Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette. Oh. Look, there's even, you know, the cover, there's even a, there's a little waffle on there. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Who's it by? Uh, this is by... Beauty Bakery. Oh, nice. I like Beauty Bakery. Beauty oh. Bakery. It looks like... Oh, my God. They are adorable names, though. So, this is the palette. There we go. It's just... I don't know. There's a bunch of grays in there. That's pretty. So, it has... Mm -hmm. Yawning. Forehead kisses. I can't see it. Oh. Yeah, I can't get it on the camera, but... Yeah, so it has yawning, forehead kisses, pajamas. <laughs> That's just the top three. The middle three are French doors, boo and a view, <laughs> and messy hair. 
this one right here is messy hair. Um, and then it's fresh, fresh face cuddle cakes and lazy baby from fresh face cuddle cakes, lazy baby. What kind of freaking names are these? It seems like a lot of them aren't about breakfast, but that's fine. I don't think I've ever tried an eyeshadow by Beauty Beauty Bakery, so I'm excited about that. I like their setting powder a whole lot, or their baking powder, I should say, although I don't bake. But that's interesting. I'll try it out. I don't think I'll go for like a lot of the brown shadows in here. A brown. It looks like there's like this one is a nice like oh. a gray shimmer right there. And that's it. Here, you want the sleeve for it? Sure. Um, that's it. All right. So we got a mask, a skin serum, some eyelashes, some brushes, and this makeup palette. And I'm gonna try them out, see how they work, and I'll see you in a little bit. I won't be here. Yep. Bye. Bye. All right. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna use is the Varsali drops. Just prep my skin a little bit. We did look and it did say that you can use this on uh, skin before you do makeup or, you know, when you're getting ready to go to sleep. There's really no scent to it. It smells like a lot of other hyaluronic acid products I've used. Very slippy. Feels like it might need a little bit to sink in. Gonna try not to rub off my eyebrows here. But yeah, it feels good The thing with serums, as we know gonna take a while to really see if you like them or if they do anything oh it's already like really sinking in so that's nice I feel like a little dab will do you with this just that one little vial did my face and my neck so it's I I, I don't really know how it's gonna work because it's gonna be my first time using it but I feel like it went on nicely I appreciate that it doesn't have a smell so all right all right so I primed my eyes with a little of the pretty vulgar eye primer yeah let that set a little bit and I'm looking at the eyeshadows and it seems like the only ones that aren't matte are this one this one I think that one so that kind of like limits it a little bit. I wish that there were more mattes to shimmer, but that's a personal preference, obviously. But I'm thinking probably this blue shimmer I'd like to showcase because I don't really see a lot of palettes that come in these so far that have a blue shimmer like that. There are a lot of purples in here, which I'm happy about. And like this one for sure, I'm very excited about. It's like a very light lavendery lilac shade. And this one is like a vanilla, like a warmer vanilla, but we'll see. Um, I don't know, like blend it out with that. Like it's kind of, I think that's a shimmer. That's a shimmer. So maybe the one next to it, I could blend it out. It's like a taupey purple, but the thing I'm a little worried about with these brushes is I don't have very large eyes. So this is like, this is pretty big and I prefer to use like a packing brush kind of like this because I feel like it gives me a little bit more control. It's more densely packed together. So I don't worry about putting things where I don't want them to be, especially if it's a bold color that can be very tricky to deal with after you place it because then when you blend it obviously it disperses the color more so I'm gonna go with this first well maybe not I'll try uh, one of these blending brushes this looks like it's on the smaller side of the ones we've gotten so far from Luxie I think it's Luxie so I'm going to I guess do my transition color first so that is this one here and it seems like it picked up on the brush pretty nicely I'm just gonna tap that off and hopefully not get it on the sleeping cat that's next to me so just place that in my crease and the eye primer is still a little bit tacky 
So sometimes that can help or not help because it like skips a little bit, but these seem like it's not having that problem at all. It's laying very nicely. It's just a weird sensation to put eyeshadow on primer that has this weird dry down consistency. I do like the primer a whole lot. It's just something to get used to. So that is very nice. So far, I am liking the formulation of these. I don't know that I like the, um, the ratio, as I said, I wish there were a little bit more mattes because I feel like I'm not going to do like a very shimmer heavy look mm -hmm. ever. So cute. I like it. While that's on there, I'm going to blend it out with this larger brush just to see how that works. And this is like almost too big for me, but I feel like with larger brushes, it cuts the work down a little bit for you because you don't have to blend it as much. Maybe it it's fine. It did. Okay. I have a lot of blending brushes, so I'm not like, that's not a really big push for me to buy something if it has blending brushes in it. Cause I have a ton, but I could see if, you know, you're starting out with makeup, you don't have a huge brush collection already. These would be really helpful. So yeah, I mean, it's cute. It's fine. I am going to use my tried and true for that blue color, that one there to put on my lid just to see how that works. Maybe I'll just do this like the outside corner of my eye. Eh, I think this is going to be one that's better with your finger, but like I, I'm, I'm kind of getting over having so many shimmers in here if you have to apply them all with your finger because that gets really annoying and it just it doesn't seem like it's that dark it's really not that's a bummer that's a big bummer I don't know if I like that it doesn't seem like it's picking up down here I'll try to put a little bit more on yeah I don't I don't think I'm the biggest fan of that at all. Well, whatever. I'm just going to clean this brush off and I think I'm going to use that light lavender color that I had shown before on the inside here. So that picked up very nicely. Tap that a little bit. Is this also a shimmer? I think it is. See, that's pretty. I don't know that I like this color story altogether. It's a little strange, but I'll try to make it work. I mean, with that shimmer, I didn't have to put that on with my finger and it laid down really nicely. So I'm happy about that. Um, I think I'm going to clean, not that one. That one's huge. I'm going to clean that smaller blender off a little bit and use that vanilla color I had talked about before, the one that's second in the row here, this one, and try to blend everything out on the rest of my lid a little bit. I feel like this is just a little too dark to look natural for my skin tone, but it is blending it pretty nicely. Yeah, that's fine. It seems like the mattes are working a little bit better for me than the shimmers as I use them like that's that blended out really nicely. I'm still pretty unhappy with how the outer corner looks just because it's not that concentrated blue that I really thought it would be. So that's, that's a bit of a bummer. Maybe I'll mess around with it a little bit, put a different color on the outside, see if I like that better or if it's just, if it's a fluke, if it's just that shade or if it's all of the darker shimmers, we'll see. Okay, so I did my face makeup and I lined and I obviously put mascara on. I'm going to do the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go with this top shade here. No, that's shimmery. I think it's shimmery. Hold on. Is it? It is so shimmery. Um, 
I guess I'll go with this one. I don't think it's shimmery, but we'll see. So I have a little pencil brush here. Just going to do that on the lower lash. Like I said, these mattes really apply nicely. Also, I used uh, this color next to the blue on my outer corner because I was over it. I'm just so disappointed with how that blue shows up. Like nothing. Someone's watching Indiana Jones in my house. I can hear the theme song. Is there anything creepier than watching someone get this close to their eyes? I think not. So I'm just gonna like place that and then I'll buff it out <laughs> and stab myself. Okay, so I need to use that brush again because little eyes, so I'm just cleaning that off. I mean, I'm going to go with this one. It's a shimmer again, because this entire palette is just shimmers, but I don't mind that on my inner eye, so it'll give it a little bit of a pop. That's pretty. I kind of almost want to use that as a highlighter because that's really pretty. I don't know how cohesive this look is, but we've come this far. It's a pretty shimmer. So I think I'll use a little bit of that in my inner eye as a highlight. I see glitter on my face already. It's fine. Something about the consistency of these is a little hard to blend out. It's okay. We're not going anywhere. So I'm just going to blend that lower lash line a little bit and finish up my mascara so we can play with those lashes. Okay, so I didn't record actually putting on the eyelashes because, like, that's boring. I'm not going to subject anyone to that. Um, I did use my duo lash glue, which I conveniently, oh, there it is. This one, the clear one with the little paddle that I hate. I hate the paddle. I just want a brush. Anyways, um, finished my look off with some of this NYX slip. I can't read that, but put the lashes on. They're fine. I felt like the band is a little bit thick and I can feel it. I probably should have cut them, but I didn't because if you have bad vision, sometimes it's really hard to see where you're cutting and you get two weird looking eyelashes. So I'll leave that for a different day if I really want to use these again. So my, my thoughts right away, the Versali, it's fine. It dried down very quickly. My skin felt great. It is what it is. I have to use it a little bit to really get my thoughts there. This palette, I'm still really disappointed with it, with the matte to shimmer ratio. And then like actually how this shimmer applied, not the best. I, I thought it would be a lot more pigmented, especially since that blue is, it looks like it's really dark and it just, the color payoff there, like really, it wasn't it. And, uh, I feel like the matte's performed really well. They blended out nicely, whatever. But if you're going to have such a shimmer heavy palette, even the lighter shimmers, not the best coverage. I don't want to have to use my fingers to apply my eyeshadow entirely. That's just messy and it's going to get everywhere. So I'm not the biggest fan of this palette. I'll check in a little bit later, see how everything, you know, lasted and wore. With the makeup brushes, Again, they're fine. I feel like they're still just like a little bit too big for my eyes. And like, who uses this brush? Whoever uses this brush? I have so many of these that have come in packs and I've never used them for anything because I don't have the lid space for one and it's angled. Like I just, I'm never going to use this. That's me. But I mean, like they're fine. They have a weird smell to them that I'm not entirely thrilled about. 
but uh, yeah. So maybe I'll use the mask tonight. Who knows? We'll check in, see, you know, where I am at that point. And uh, I think that about wraps up the look. I'll try to put a still picture in if I can get a good one. Look who I got to join me for the wrap up portion. I know. It's only because there's only one way away from the camera and it's that way. I'm blocking and it. And she will not let me by. <laughs> I'm being held hostage. Help. Yes. So... I guess, like, the only stuff to follow up on are the lashes and the eyeshadow palette, like, how that wore. Uh, the lashes are fine. They're nice and full and dramatic, and I like them. I probably do need to cut them because they're, like, battering my inner corner just a touch. All right. The eyeshadow palette. Wait, do you normally trim eye eyelashes when you get them? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I have little or eyes. Or something new every day. So... Uh, th <sighs> The mattes are fine. There are not that many mattes in this palette. The shimmers are not that great, and there are a lot more shimmers than anything. This blue, I wanted this blue to work so well. Do you see blue on my eyes? Look at my eyes. Do you see any blue? Yeah, right at the top of your lid. Yeah. Right at the top of your eyes. That's eye it. Lid. And it's not that dark, is it? I close your eyes again. It's not pigmented. Look at it. Um, it looks more purple than blue. So I had to layer some of the purples on it to mm -hmm. get it dark because there's like, that's it. Yeah, that's not good. That's not that pigmented. So. I say cuddle cakes. It, I does. Can... it does say <laughs> cuddle, cuddle cakes. cakes. Cuddle cakes was disappointing. Um, this is not a palette I'm probably ever going to reach for again because there's no colors in here that are super unique that I can't find in another palette I already have. Or six. Or six. Because... The shimmers, I'm not going to go for the shimmers because I don't like the formulation. The mattes... Is it grainy? No, it's just not opaque enough. It's not that dense of a pigmentation that I'd be like, oh, just sweep it over my lid and use it. I'd have to put something really dark on underneath to get, you know, any sort of color payoff. And I'm not trying to layer a thousand, you know, swipes of shimmer on my eye because it's... Eye. Not with that. I'm not going to layer it to death because then it's just going to fall out like all under my cheek, you know, on my mm -hmm. cheeks and everything. So disappointed with this. Like I said, the mats are fine. The mats are great, but like, I'm not going to use this and I can't tell if I still have blue on my fingers. So that might just end up everywhere. I'm, gonna use some of my serum there. I'm not going to use the mask tonight just because I have things to do. But it's a mask. Hopefully it works. I'm excited to use it. I just, I don't have time to relax tonight. I don't have time to relax a lot of nights. But I will use this at some point this week just to give it a shot. But um, I think that's about it. I feel like I covered the brushes pretty well. I talked about the eyelashes, the serum. You, you really don't know after the first try, but... That's what I got in BoxyCharm for October 2020. Did you guys get any of the same things? Leave me some comments down below. Have you tried other Beauty Bakery products? Beauty Bakery. What, Beauty Bakery products, and how did you like them? Do they have other palettes that you've used that you've had more success with? Do you find you get the same disappointment with the shimmers? Let me know down below. Um, love to talk to you in the comments. Uh, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And I hope you all are having a wonderful spooky season and watching lots of horror movies. And we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Welcome to Reanimator <laughs> Reviews. I'm vaping and not ready. Ha <laughs> ha.